what's going on guys today's video is um, a 250 pound budget build two amd builds i've put together and i'm putting it down to you guys to decide which one you feel or think would be the best build out of the two there are two different builds one is uh, using it obviously a cpu and one is using it an apu uh, the red um on the left is the uh, CPU that's using an FX6300 and the one on the right is using an APU which is the A10 from AMD. Um, the APU just means that it comes with built-in graphics capabilities whereas the uh, CPU does not. It needs, a, um, it's, uh, it needs a dedicated graphics card in the build as well which uh, adds expense. Um, there is, um, so let's go through the specs. We got the CPU, which is uh, like I said, AMD FX6300, 3.5 gigahertz and six cores. Uh, we're using an ASRock 960 GM uh, motherboard, which is a micro ATX. And we're using Kingston Blue, four gigabytes of DDR3, 1600 hertz RAM. Uh, with a hard drive of a Seagate Momentus 7200 2.5 inch 7200 RPM um, that doesn't matter you can use whatever hard drive you feel is best for your build you can go ahead and use an SSD you can go ahead and use a one terabyte whatever you need for this um, for this low low budget I'm just going with the cheapest hard drive I can get my hands on which is the best spec this is the fastest hard drive I could get for this small amount of money. So uh, that's why it's only 160 gigabytes. The, um, the GPU is going to be the XFX Radeon HD 4550. Um, it's got one gigabyte of, uh, I think, DDR3 RAM, I believe. Don't think it has DDR5. Uh, it comes with, we're going to put a BitPhoenix Merc Alpha case in black an ATX mid tower case even though we're only putting a micro ATX motherboard in this build but it can hold I'm pretty sure this case can even hold a micro uh, AT, no I, it can even hold an ITX no a micro ITX or a mini ITX it can hold a wide range from the smallest to I uh, think just to a, a normal ATX I'm not too sure um, but and then the power supply, we're going to have an EVGA 500 watt ATX 12 volt uh, power supply. So um, let's go on to the build on the right hand side, which is the APU build. Um, that's coming with an A10, um, uh, A10 6790K, um, 4.0 gigahertz quad core. So we're missing two cores, but. Um, it does have the graphics capability with it as well whereas the uh, motherboard we're using is another ASRock but this time the FM2 A55M HD Plus uh, this is again is a micro ATX board but with the uh, FM2 Plus chipset, uh, chipset unlike the other one which is an AM3 Plus chipset uh, the RAM is going to be the same Kingston Blue 4 gigabytes DDR3 1600 and um, the hard drive is the same, the 7200 RPM, 160 gigabyte, 2.5 inch. And the case is the same again, the BitPhoenix Merc Alpha mid tower case. And we're using the same power supply in this build. So they're very similar builds. It's only the diff, the only difference is one has a CPU, one has an APU. And because it has an APU, the one on the right, it doesn't need the GPU. Um, it doesn't need a dedicated GPU to start with. You're going to want to put a dedicated GPU in this build, of course. But the uh, difference is you don't have to have it out the gate. Whereas if you don't buy the dedicated GPU for the build on the left, um, the FX6300 build, then you're not going to be able to display... Um, I believe some motherboards I think can have video uh, capabilities inbuilt but um, I wouldn't trust that I wouldn't use that that's um, I'm pretty sure they're very poor unless you obviously get a very high quality motherboard which these are not so we're not gonna want to rely on the motherboard 
for the graphics capabilities and um, so these are the two builds the I've um, I've seen there's many videos if you type in the AMD A10 6790K into YouTube there are many people that do videos on how well that can run games so I wouldn't be put off by that um, the fact it hasn't got it's dedicated whereas I I'm not sure I don't actually know if the A10's APU is actually better than the uh, XFX Radeon HD 5451 gigabyte um, I'm not too sure which is the best I haven't used either of these so I don't know but my laptop at the moment does have an a AMD A8 with a uh, discrete graphic which is my laptop runs on an APU as well so um, I know how well these APUs work and they are very very good my laptop is getting a bit old now it is a fair few years old and um, it's struggling to run um, a lot of the new games now it can't run them but the AMD A8, um, A10 is a lot faster than that and so should easily breeze through um, most modern games on low to maybe medium settings whereas the xfx radeon is probably limited more to low games i'd imagine i so my guess is you may actually get better graphics quality from the uh, apu than using the gpu that we've supplied on the other build but your processor isn't quite as good the uh, amd fx 6300 is a very good processor a lot of people have a lot of praise for that processor it has amazing overclocking capabilities so if you want to overclock then definitely go with the fx 6300 you can't really get a better um, get a better cpu for overclocking right now it's the one of the best and one of the cheapest on the market for superior overclocking like the speeds you can get out of the AMD FX6300 when overclocked is insane. They are crazy speeds and most high-end um, CPUs that compete against it, when this is overclocked, it destroys them. It's craziness. Um, but the AMD A10 out of the box may have faster... Um, faster speeds i believe on uh, normal everyday programs that's because of the uh, four gigahertz but there again it is only quad core whereas the fx is six core but the problem with the fx is then uh, um i've read about them it sounds to me like they're not actual six cores it's more like three cores that are split into two the uh, when they work together then it acts like six and they're really good on um i think it's multi-threaded applications whereas single threaded applications which use single core applications are uh, much faster on the amd a10 the amd fx for single core applications is very um not very slow but it's slower in comparison so um there's the two specs you guys um i would like you guys to um vote which one you think is the best or which one you think um, you'd prefer and i may even end up building one of these because this is the um this is the price range i'm looking at and i believe i may end up buying one of these builds and building it and then we can fully test out the capabilities of one of these so you guys write in the comments below red or blue which one red for the amd fx6300 cpu build or blue for the APU build from AMD with the A10 6790K. So let me know guys, write red or blue in the comments below. And thanks for watching guys. This has been Garten360 and I hope you've enjoyed the video.